The conflict is here to stay in 2023, possibly longer. What we're looking at is quite possibly the biggest geopolitical event uh, for post-Soviet region and possibly the entire Eurasia since the fall of the Soviet Union. There is no common ground between the two parties. Russia and Ukraine fundamentally disagree uh, on what a potential peace agreement could look like. Russia is keen to physically control the four regions it claims to have annexed in September, whereas Ukraine, having had several major military successes over the past year, is now eager to reclaim all of its territory. Both sides essentially believe that uh, they can reach these goals with military means. Even though we think that Western support, both military and financial, is likely to continue throughout this year, support could come under pressure as um, a protracted war continues to have global ramifications. Where would the line be? Would it be a ceasefire or would it be a lasting peace settlement put on paper and accepted by all sides? I would honestly say that it is Russia that is the biggest uncertainty of the conflict. They started it so they can finish it. But there's more because we don't understand how Russia is going to come out of it. We do have a pretty clear picture of Ukraine after the conflict, however it ends. They chose Europe and they will take it from there. What will Russia do? This is a multi-billion dollar question. The world has had to adapt. Europe in particular has had to diversify its energy sources in a bid to depart from Russian oil and gas building LNG terminals, securing alternative energy sources from markets such as the US and Qatar. This winter, Europe has been able to successfully diversify its energy sources. Numerous factors have helped make this happen, including milder winter conditions um, in Europe, but it hasn't been a success to all countries, so it hasn't been uniform. We don't know how harsh next winter will be, as European and other Western governments compete to secure those limited um, energy sources. Prices will remain high. We have a major factor that's come into play and that's going to stay here with us for years, and this is sanctions. With some sanctions regimes, like Iran, for example, there's a blanket ban. You cannot do business with Iran, period. You can do business involving Russia as long as you don't run off all of the sanctions. Sanctions were not particularly successful at either convincing Russia to stop um, its aggression against Ukraine, and they were not particularly successful at draining the Russian budget to the extent that it would no longer be able to fund um, what it calls um, a special military operation in, in, in Ukraine. Russian energy profits are likely to decline as the Western oil embargo and the oil price cap take effect. So there are regions that are barely affected, like Uzgard in the West. And then there are regions where entire cities are leveled to the ground, like Bakhmut or Mariupol. The challenges for reconstruction would be vastly different. Ukrainians have proven to be incredibly resilient. One might be surprised by how optimistic they actually are. Much of the country is not affected by hostilities, at least to the same extent that we tend to envision when we see news uh, reporting from the front lines. You do face a lot of challenges on the ground right now, and this is not just the most obvious things. You get the uncertainties associated with a major conflict in general which can be anything. There's a clear lesson to be derived from all of this, and this is do not underestimate the outlier scenario. It is impossible to have a contingency plan for every contingency, but you need to be ready to act and act fast. No matter the circumstances, there will always be uncertainty. Uh, and the best way to prepare for this uncertainty is not just by predicting the most likely trajectory for the coming year or five years, but also thinking through um, what could go wrong. Governments are not necessarily rational decision makers. 
there is uncertainty here and we may know a bit more, we may have a bit more clarity by the end of summer when the current developments play out, but it is best to prepare that we're in for the long haul. Thank you.